Now section 1 exercise 2. It says device a circuit series circuit such that when I0.0 .0 and I0.1 is on, Q0.0 .0 is on. So it says when two inputs are on, then only the output should be on. So this is like a series gate. You know, if you know about digital gates, you know when two inputs are on, then only output is on. That is a series gate. So we have to device a circuit in series. So in that case, I have replaced this NC with NO, another NO. And here, instead of push buttons, we'll be using this as maintain button. Okay, so I can, I can also configure this button by right click. And if you want to see, it's alternate action or you can say alternate action okay you can see here well I can show you by maximizing it that's the alternate action alternate is like a toggle button so I'll take these two as a toggle button alright so what happens in toggle button when you press the button it will retain the state okay so that I can simulate this logic so when I press these two button this indicator should be on that's the condition so it's very simple you take one NO bit here and you take another NO bit here and you take the output here so when these two are on then the output will be on so these two will be given address of these two buttons so it will be i0.0 .0 and this will be i0.1 okay the output will be q0.0 .0. pretty simple so download this logic in the plc and let's see the results click download and let the program transfer So once it's downloaded, it will ask me to place the PLC in run mode. So I'll click OK. Then I'll go to program status and I'll click on run here. Now when I press this button, it will retain the state. But this doesn't go on. Let me check the logic. Maybe I need to link that again. Yeah, the buttons are not here. So I have to link the buttons to my PLC. Now it makes sense. So when I press this button, you can see that this input is on but this is not true because this button is not pressed that's why the output is not on so the moment I press this one the logic goes through and the indicator goes on so if I release any of these the logic got false because this is this is false false and true is false this is the AND gate so we have to make sure both the inputs are true then only the output will be true that's it this is what AND gate and this is what being asked in the question when the two inputs are on then only the output should be on so if you make false any of these two inputs if you turn it off the output will be off you can see that all right so this is about the second exercise the AND gate let's see what we have in the next video thank you